Welcome to the Math 1 lesson summary video for the task Chew on This. It's a solidify understanding task. So the purpose of this task is to solidify student understanding of the common ratio in a geometric sequence by exploring a scenario where the geometric sequence is decreasing. And that purpose is actually fulfilled in scenario 3 of this task. Scenario 1 and 2 are more practiced from uh, concepts previously learned in the module. So I'm going to kind of speed through scenario 1 and 2 so we can focus our time on scenario 3. So scenario one, we have Mr. and Ms. Glop, they're giving Augustus 10 candies every day as incentive to do his homework. So of course on day zero, he doesn't have any candy, but the first day he does his homework, he gets 10. And then each day after that, he gets 10 more. So on day two, he gets 20. On day three, he gets 30. On day four, he gets 40. And on day five, he gets 50 candies. So we have the recursive rule shown here, f of n equals f of n minus one plus 10 and f of one equals 10. And so if you use that fact, f of one equals 10, you would get this explicit rule down here, 10 plus 10 times n minus one, because remember when we have the n equals one term, we have to do n minus one in our rule. Or we could also use the fact that f of zero is zero, because obviously he's gonna get zero candies on day zero. And that gives us this more simple rule, f of n equals 10n. These rules are equivalent because if you distribute here, you get 10 plus 10n minus 10, and 10 minus 10 cancels out to become zero. So we just get 10n either way. Uh, so 10n is the simplest rule, and that allows us to answer the question on day 30, how many candies will you get? So that's going to be, let me use proper notation, f of 30. So 10 times 30. That's going to be 300 candies on day 30. And so then we skip on down to scenario two. So in scenario two, Augustus looks in the mirror and decides he's gaining weight on the scenario one plan. So he comes up with a plan that he thinks is better. On day one, his parents can just give him one candy and then two and then four. It says they're going to double the amount. So that would actually be eight and then 16 on day five. So we can write the recursive rule f of n equals f of n minus 1 times 2, f of 1 equals 1. So again, we can get this explicit rule shown here, 1 times 2 to the n minus 1. Um, on this plan, day 0 is not necessarily 0 candy, so let's get rid of that row. So we can only do this rule here. Um, day 0 actually doesn't really make a lot of sense in this scenario. Uh, so f of n equals 2 to the n minus 1 power is the simplest way we can write it because 1 times anything leaves it the same. So on day 30, 2 to the 30 minus 1, that's going to be 2 to the 29th power, which is going to be a whole lot of candy. Let's just see how much. That is a whopping 536,870,000 870,912 candy. So Augustus's weight loss plan really not working out there. So you can see how geometric sequences grow much more rapidly than arithmetic sequences. That's one of the takeaways you're meant to get from scenario one and two. But again, scenario three is the focus of this task. So since scenario three is the focus of the task, I'm gonna read through this entirely. It says Augustus is generally selfish and somewhat unpopular at school. He decides that he could improve his image by sharing his candy with everyone at school. When he has a pile of 100,000 candies, he generously plans to give away 60% of the candies that are in the pile each day. Although Augustus may be earning more candies for doing his homework, he is only giving away candies from the pile that started with the 100,000. He's not that generous. So the key piece of information here is that Augustus plans to give away 60% starting from a pile of 100,000. So you can see in the table, I've already filled in day zero is 100,000 candies. So the key question is, if he's giving away 60%, then what percent is he keeping? Because that's what we're being asked to model. So if he's giving away 60%, then he's keeping 40% of the candy. And so 40% as a decimal is 0.4. Four. And so we can write a recursive rule to model this situation. And that recursive rule is going to be x sub n equals x sub n minus 1 times 0 0.4 starting from 
x sub 0 equals 100,000. And so that's our recursive rule to model this situation. And so now we can use that rule to finish filling in the table. So if I take 100,000 and I multiply by 0 0.4, then I get 40,000. And if I take 40,000 and I multiply by 0 0.4, then I get 16,000. And we can continue filling in the table by multiplying by 0 0.4 every time. And we'll get 6,400 down to 2,560, down to 1,024, then down to 410, 164, I'm rounding now since 410, and finally 66. So the two questions that we're asked to answer are how many candies will you have on day four? And so that's answered here. Day four, 2,560 candies, and day eight, all the way down to 66 candies. And we also want to write an explicit rule to model the situation. And for that, I'm going to turn over to Desmos. So I'm here in Desmos. I've created a graphical representation of our table. So I just clicked on add item, added a table, and put the numbers. Didn't want you to have to sit through the process of me doing that. But now we can use that to check our explicit rule. So we can now try to find a explicit rule that works for this scenario. So because I'm not going to be doing anything else with this, I can use f of n using the typical notation that we use. So we have our starting amount of 100,000 on day zero, then our common ratio raised to the n power or the n minus one power. Well, let's see. Day zero was 100,000, so we can raise it to the n power because we were not uh, starting at day one, we were starting at day zero. Alternatively, if we had considered what we started at day one, I could have done 40,000 times 0.4 to the n minus 1. And that would also give me the same answer. So you can see that those graphs are equivalent. Um, but this, I think, is the most simple representation for this scenario. And you can see how that green graph fits all the green data points. And we're good. Thanks for watching. If you need help specifically with the Ready, Set, Goes, be sure to check out Canvas Ready, Set, Go support site.